Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Start from Scratch Elm Creek run here. And I just ran the wrong direction, but we'll be all right. I'm just heading this guy over to pick up some water for our strawberries. Got some contracts still rolling. Just a little bit more money coming in. Probably fill up this tanker probably twice. Just couple of these over there. Oh, come on, contracts. Let's get you guys done. Field 39 is going to take a while, isn't it? Yep. 58 sunk in there. And what's the other one? Oh, 31. Most of the way. They're all just big fields that just <laughs> trickle their percentages up slowly, though. But they're going to be worth good money, so it is a good thing. Did we not add a little extra water tinker to this? I thought we did. Maybe not. Let's see, we're in August. Nothing going on for us calendar-wise, but next month we get to plant our barley and harvest our sorghum. So that'll be coming. Uh, do we just want to go get into a couple more things while we're waiting? Materials are missing. Let's go ahead and deactivate you. Bread's looking good. Strawberries are looking okay. Got quite a bit of water, though. But, you know, we got enough room for another one, I think, of each. Might as well.
Did we get rid of our forge wagon? Were we just leasing that? We must have just been leasing that. Or maybe I did sell it and for reasons I honestly don't remember at this point. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll figure it out once we need it again. Fill 31's almost done. All right, strawberries are good. Almost topped off, actually. Bread, like I said, nothing to do with the bread right now. We gotta sell the bread in December. So we're a little ways away from that. When do we sell the strawberries? That's not till January. All right, well, I guess uh, at this point, where's 31? There you are. 31's about to be done. We can move you over to, I guess, 27. I think I meant to have all these cultivating jobs done before I came back, but I forgot. <laughs> I started the recording, so here we are. You guys get to join me for the ride, I guess. All right, get you going there. 58 will be the next one. If this one finishes, we'll move you over to 39 to help with that.
I think you'll finish on the next pass, actually. Anything else we need to work on while we are waiting? I don't think so. Yes, we can. We don't. Uh, we don't have a plant, uh, cedar, do we? We do not. There's no point in getting it now. And what else? What do we need? We need the harvesters. Yeah, we don't need. We don't have either of those. I was gonna say we get those ready for the crops coming up, but we're gonna be waiting to get into both of those next month anyway. We're going to come very close to finishing off this next pass. I just realized the tires in the back there don't move. But, which is, I guess, just the way it's designed. But it's funny because these over here, the tires in the back do move. It's different designs, I guess. Random observations. As soon as you get done here, we'll move you over, my friend. Let's go. Man, I am exhausted. I, uh, let's see, what have I done this week? I went to, uh, went hiking for about, about two and a half miles. Not, not too far, but it's, you know, it, when you're hiking, it's not just flat, you know, land. Usually it's going to be, well, at least where I live, it's going to be a lot more up and down, a bit more elevation gain, stuff like that. Um, so, uh, and plus it was like 55 degrees out. It was pretty cold, a little bit wet. So I got to try out some of my new gear that I got to try and, uh, you know, take on me for, we're, we're, we're trying, I'm trying to build it to a longer hikes at some point in the future. So I'm trying to test out all my gear. I even wore my, my full backpack today on just the short hike, just, just so I can kind of get used to the weight of that and then determine like what gear I had that does work, what, what gear needs to either be improved or change or. Um, was what was good, you know. There's some of the gear that was like worked great, especially the wet gear. Actually, it worked really good. Um, what else did I do? I went to went to a shooting range a couple times this weekend, learning how to shoot handguns at the moment. Just I like, you know, it's fun going to a shooting range. I think I like the idea of marksmanship and target shooting. I think that's that's fun. Um, obviously, everybody has their own opinions of guns in general, but I don't know. I personally think, <laughs> unless you just really love trees, uh, shooting a paper target, I mean, it's, that's pretty tame. A paper target in a controlled environment is a pretty tame, uh, tame there. And personally, I mean, if you've watched any of my hunting games that I, I think I've done uh, or at least I've talked about the hunting games that I've played I have nothing wrong with hunting I have nothing wrong with all that kind of stuff so it's just or how I've grown up it is what it is grandfathers all had or both had guns my dad has had guns growing up I've never really shot anything higher than a 22 until recently so and even that was just one time but uh so I just I never really did any sort of gun things growing up I was more into the tech stuff, the video games and computers and stuff like that. So it's just been fun getting outdoors, doing the hiking, kind of learning how to do, you know, handguns. And maybe eventually I'll, I'll learn how to do some rifle stuff, which is, like I said, mostly marksmanship. I don't personally think I plan on going to hunting. Uh, it's just not my thing, I don't think. But um, I've also been doing some off-roading. Uh, put up a Bronco video a while back, but learning how to do some off-roading stuff like that hoping to get more into that just do more outdoorsy stuff and more more out of the house stuff maybe 
So, just been having a lot of fun with that. Of course, all my new hobbies. My Bronco, maybe the handgun stuff or guns in general, and as well as hiking. None of those are cheap. I mean, hiking, I guess, is the cheapest in theory because, you know, get you a bottle of water and a pair of boots, <laughs> hiking boots, and you're good to go, right? But not the hiking that I'm hoping to do. So I've been having to get myself some nice backpacks, some good, good wet, uh, clothing, because all my clothing was cotton. Cotton's not what you want to wear when you're going hiking. Um, so stuff like that. So I've been spending a lot of money on that, uh, as well as my wife. My wife's going to come with me, so double everything, basically. And then, man, I, I do not want to tell you how much money I've been putting to my Bronco. Probably $12,000 on top of the price of the Bronco that I've put into it. Because I'm crazy. Um, but why not? And then, um, I haven't bought anything handgun related, but I've been doing a lot of training courses and classes and stuff like that. And of course, at some point, if we do decide to go there up, you know, those are not super cheap as well. I think you'll finish in time to help over there at 39. If you did, it'd be like one pass and probably not even worth it. Any new contracts come up yet? Nope. Guess we can fast forward a little bit to see if another one pops up here at the top of the hour. Alrighty, done. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Nope. We'll give it another hour or so. I doubt anything's going to come up. I, I'm pretty sure most of them would have been completed by now. Yeah. It's all good. Alright. Um, you guys... Literally like one row piece from being done, I think. And then we'll be done with all of our cultivating contracts. Good, decent chunk of money. fast forward just a little bit more just because if we got one more with these three guys ready to roll it would not take long to lock out all right we'll call it good enough collect collect Nice. All right. Uh, that is it for August then. Next up will be planting and harvesting. Oof. 41,000 bucks. 
We're going to be tight on the money, guys. But uh, we can go with a pretty cheap planter because it's just the barley field. That is not... Um, it's not going to take that long to do with a smaller cedar. In fact, I think we'll just go with this. Probably this $48,000 one over here. That one's new, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Isn't it? I think that one's new. I don't recognize that one. Um, any of the others that we'd care about? Not really. No, I think we should go with this one. We've used it before. We know it works. Uh, we got some seed over here. How much do we have? Not really enough. Oh, do we need lime? I think we might be okay. Now we do need lime on these fields. So if we do need lime, we can go ahead and get it now, harvest those, and then put the lime down behind it. So we can still get lime on all of our fields for right now, if it does look like we need it. And it might be okay just to do it all anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get you headed over there, pick up some lime. Maybe you drive down there while I pick up my harvester. Uh, I guess we're going to go pretty cheap on the harvester then, too. Because we're trying to save a little bit of money right now. Do we want to go that cheap? I'm kind of thinking that cloth, maybe. Would be okay. I mean, to be fair, they both go 15 miles an hour. Not a huge difference there. You have a five meter header. You have a 7.7 .7 meter header. And you're a four meter. Okay, so we're going to go with class. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. 5.1. Ever so slightly bigger. Okay, we'll go with this one and... think there's anything we're going to change here. So we'll just leash you as is. And then we need some lime. So we'll go with the small one. Again, just trying to save some money here. It's like 50 bucks more or something like that for this. So I guess we'll go at least with that. It, you know, helps out a little bit. Get you over to the lime thing. Uh, I honestly don't know how much lime we're going to need. Is this thing still accurate up here? Hmm. 
for four, four, five, four, six, four, seven, four, eight, four, nine. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, I mean, obviously, we don't need all of this because we've trimmed up some of the fields, but. I'm going to need 10,000 liters, all said and done. So I guess we'll fill this thing up and go as far as we can, and then if we got to get more, we got to get more. Maybe this one trailer load will be enough. I bet I bet it's gonna be just a hair short though, because obviously we're not gonna be perfectly efficient. Nine thousand liters. I think it's gonna be just a smidge short. All right, got you going. You're ready to come over here, start working on this. Oh, you didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? So he seems to be doing fine. I'll just leave him going that direction. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Um, we'll get this stuff harvested next time. We'll get 
Lime will obviously put on all of our fields, and we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.